Hi guys, it's Taylor. Today's video is kind of bittersweet if I'm being honest because I really, really want to film this video at the end of the festival season. So in like September of this year, kind of upsetting because I was obviously going to collect a lot more stuff throughout the summer. But since festival season is canceled, I don't want to go out and buy a bunch of stuff because that just kind of be like a waste of money. Sorry, I'm like taking off my slippers. <laughs> that would be a waste of money because I don't even know if they're happening. I do have a few pieces that I haven't featured on my channel before, but a lot of them are in my previous festival and rave Tron hauls that I have on my channel actively right now. Make sure you go watch that video after this one because I'm not gonna try anything on in this video. So if you wanna see what anything looks like, just go watch those videos. I'll have them linked down below. But I thought this video would be really fun to just show everything in one video of what my collection looks like. I did honestly sell a lot of stuff on Depop over the last two months, I wanna say, and I probably like should to save them to show you guys for this video but i know after this video too i'm definitely going to be listing more stuff on my depop because i don't wear a lot of them and i know i'm not going to keep a lot of them for like sentimental value you know what i mean so if you're interested in any of these pieces some of them might be on depop so this is going to be everything in my festival slash rave collection currently i guess we can start off with accessories my phone's ringing hello hi I'm uh, filming a video. Um, in a bit, I'm down my boyfriend so I guess we can start off with bags I don't really know if I like this one anymore it's just like a white clear bag from forever 21 which is like okay guys forever 21 in Canada closed down which is like so weird but I wore this to ever after last year really nice because I brought my Polaroid camera I think I had like a extra shirt in here because it's still kind of cold at night in June so the next bag is just a ratchet worn out fanny pack from Walmart it's just like this pleather buckle bag I don't know I really like it so I have that one and then I also have this one from dolls kill this one's definitely my favorite just because it has a lot of cool accent on it so this one has like silver chains on it and circles and hoops and everything and then the last fanny pack is from fashion nova this one's really cool it's a harness fanny pack there's a strap that goes around your waist and then there's another one that goes around one of your legs and it like sits right under your butt and lifts it up it's really flattering on in terms of shoes i technically only have one pair of festival shoes i guess i would categorize them as because if i'm gonna wear shoes other than these ones it would just be like my regular everyday like nike air forces or my doc martens but these ones i bought specifically for festivals they're from knock wool and they're definitely a dupe for the naked wolf ones because they look almost identical and they're half the price so i definitely want to get more shoes for my festival collection because again technically i have one pair so i definitely want to get more and just kind of step up my shoe game same with accessories i wear the same ones every single time and like it can be kind of extra to just buy a bunch of stuff even though like they're pretty much all the same but i am extra so i don't care <laughs> so this top i actually wore to ever after on day one but it's pretty much just a fishnet long sleeve top i actually got this from ebay i think it was ebay or amazon like three years ago because so i was gonna wear it to veld one year but i didn't end up wearing it that you can do like one shoulder or you can wear it regular but it's definitely really cool and i like that it's longer so you can tuck it in if you're wearing shorts or whatever so i have these pair of pink wide leg pants from Fashion Nova. These are so cool and I honestly haven't really had a chance to wear them. I was gonna wear them maybe at a festival, but kind of triggered right now. I love these shorts. I feel like I don't have a lot of festival shorts because a lot of the stuff I wear is like high cut kind of bikini style stuff, which I'm really trying to branch out and away from because you guys will see later, I have a lot of the same stuff. These are so cute. I've been wanting these for the longest time. They're the American Apparel high rise hot shorts. I just got them in black and I just think they're so cute. They're like kind of sparkly. Definitely have more of a festival spin on it than like jean shorts do. Moving on rave with me jante me gente something like that oh my god guys this top has probably been the most worn piece in my whole festival collection i've wore this at so many festivals but i've also wore it going out like with my friends and stuff under a jacket in the summer it's the perfect little bra top that goes with literally everything i have two mesh tops so this one i wore to ever after last year this one has such a sentimental value to me i just love it so much very highlighter moment for me a lot of this stuff probably isn't sold anymore which is really cool and that's like why i don't want to get rid of it 
I also have this long sleeve orange mesh top. I don't know if you can tell. I don't know when I was buying these. I was just really into this whole mesh vibe, but I honestly don't even think I wore this one before. I feel like orange is not my color and I'm probably gonna be selling this one. I really like the long sleeves. That's definitely something I gravitate more towards. Freedom Ravewear. I only have one thing from there and it came in the festival fashion box. I have a coupon code linked down below for that if you guys are interested, but it's just this reflective honey combed pattern set so these are one of the bottoms i have i have not worn these i probably won't just because they are so tiny but they also came with these high-waisted bottoms which are super cute triangle little bikini style top and then this shrug so they all go together super cute next i have something from beginning boutique so upset that i'm not able to wear this and it honestly just kind of breaks my heart i don't know you guys can tell i have some sort of weakness for mesh and i don't know why i just think it's really really cool this mesh flame unitard it's just so beautiful and I'm just very upset that I'm not able to wear it because I just looked, I'm not gonna lie, I looked so good in it, I don't even care. From Mystic Apparel. This is not mine, it's my friend's actually, but I have wore it to a few festivals and I have this in white, but my cousin has it and she lives in Montreal, so I can't show it in this video. So I thought I would just show you guys this one instead because it's literally the same thing. Um, but this one honestly has been like a huge wear in my closet. I just think it's so cool. So it's this black cutout bodysuit. It's so cute and it just fits so nicely. I wore it with a shrug top. I wore it with biker shorts. I wore it with cargo pants. You can switch up the looks. You can wear it by itself or under pants. It just honestly looks good with everything. So I have pretty much three sets of the same thing. So I'll just like quickly show them. So I have these high-waisted basic bottoms in neon green. The matching top, it's just like a basic sports bra style top, but it's very comfortable and so cute. And then I also have it in this really cute yellow color. These also double as bathing suits, which is really cool. And then I also have it in black, but the black one's really cool because they have this chain detailing on it. I have those three sets. And then also I have this one arm wrap top that ties like around one of your boobs and then on the other side. This is a really cool accessory. You can add on to any piece. Adorable little Barbie top is what I like to think of it as. It's just this really cool color block little bandeau top. So I love that. And then I also have this really sick fluffy zebra bandeau top. So you guys are following my Instagram, which if you're not, you should definitely go do that because I post a lot of my outfits on there. And I did a whole photo shoot in this top and I just love how the photos turned out. And it just screams like electric zoo. Lost land, I'm gonna cry. And lastly, I have a huge pile of stuff. Actually, it's not that huge because I've sold a lot of stuff, but this is all my current stuff that I have from Doll's Kill. <sighs> Don't even get me started with Doll's Kill. It is my weakness. Everything I like, I want everything on that website and that's honestly where I want to say majority of my stuff is from but I also have a large like portion of variety of different stores but I definitely always go to Dolls Kill first because it's my favorite. I have these really sick fishnet biker shorts. I just think these are so cool. I want to wear biker shorts but you want to make it more fun and edgy. These are a really cool spin on them. They also have like a bunch of different options on their website. I've seen like neon pink, neon green, black with sparkles on it. I have these from Jaded London, but I bought them on Dolls Kill. I don't think they're sold anymore, but they're so cool. So they're these super high-waisted black high-rise bottoms. I really need to figure out a way to wear these again because I think they're so cool. They have this really cool detailing that cuts out probably around your belly button, depending on how far you pull them up. You could honestly like wear this under a pair of jeans too and have these poking out through the top that would be really cool i have another fishnet top but this one is different i swear so i can justify it um this one is short sleeve it's cropped and it has these really cool black detailing and i've wore this out to clubs before it's just like a really cool going out top next i have another set from dolls kill i don't know what it is about these shorts it's probably just how soft the material is but they make your butt look so good so i just have these really cool biker shorts in this checkered print and then they came in a set with this cropped little t-shirt i just think it's so cute i like it because you can switch it up and wear them with different things next i have a pair of biker shorts from poster girl these are honestly really cool but i just i don't really like them anymore so i'm definitely 
If these aren't up on my Depop already, they will be, but I've never wore them before. These new color biker shorts with this really sick detailing around the waist. This top, I'm never getting rid of this. This has such sentimental value to me. Definitely one of my favorite pieces in my whole collection. It's this amazing, you guys can see the holographic. It's so cool because of my ring light. Mushrooms on it and I just think it's so cool and it's just like a cutout shrug top that has a turtleneck on it and then it has a zip in the front. I wore this with that black cutout bodysuit from Mystic Apparel. Anything that's holographic like this or that has buckles gets me every time. <laughs> this next set, I don't have any photos in it because the festival that I went to, it poured rain the whole day so and the festival kept shutting down so I couldn't get any photos in it but it's this really, really cool set from M's The Label that I got on Doll's Kill. <gasps> so it's these really cool biker shorts. Okay, the only thing is, is that the stitching like ripped out of one of the legs, like on pretty much the whole leg. So I need to figure out a way to fix them because I really want to wear these again, but I am not a seamstress. So I'm going to have to look into that. This matching mini tube top. It's so cute and I just can't. I love it so much and I'm never getting rid of this. The last thing that I have from Dolls Kill is this really cool reflective, are we surprised? No, little bra top. I think this is so cool. I was gonna wear this to Ever After this year, but don't get to do that anymore. It's just like a basic black top, but I really like this detailing on it. But the best part is that it came with a matching choker. Are you kidding me? Again, if you're following my Instagram, you would have seen that I already posted a bunch of photos in these. I think that's pretty much everything I have to show you guys. Everything else is like random bandanas, like buckle accessories and stuff like that. I'm honestly giving myself a pat on the back because I'm actually really good about realizing what I don't need and what I don't wear and selling it. I'm gonna be listing some of these stuff on my Depop, so make sure you go check out my page to see if you wanna buy anything. I'm just upset that I'm not filming this at the end of the year because I feel like I don't have that much stuff. I feel like I just started getting really cool outfits at the beginning of last year. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Comment down below what your favorite piece was or what your favorite piece in your festival collection is. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.